Hello everyone. In this video we are going to discuss about the data tables in QTP. What is a data table? A data table is a spreadsheet like sheet with columns and rows representing the data applicable to your test. Let me show you from the QTP tool. Okay, so this is your tool and from the menu bar here is the icon to show or hide the data table. Click on this icon, see the data table gets displayed. So this is like a spreadsheet with number of rows and number of columns. So this is a data table in QTP. There are two types of data table in QTP. The first one is design time data table. Okay. And the second one is runtime data table. The data table that we have seen in QTP, this is a design time data table. Means when you are into the insert or editing mode of your script, the table that is shown to you is a design time data table. Whereas the runtime data table, QTP creates a new data table at runtime is referred as a runtime data table. I'll show you with a diagram. Okay, let's say this is your script in editing mode. Okay, QTP. Okay, and here is a data table. Okay, with number of rows and number of columns. So this is your design time data table. Okay, when you execute this script, man, means when QTP is in a running mode, okay, QTP creates one data table, okay, which is a live version of this data table or the replica of this data table and it is referred as a runtime data table. So what QTP will do? When it is in a running mode, it will copy all the data from design time to the runtime data table and use the data data from runtime data table. Okay. When you insert a data at runtime from the script, the data gets stored into the runtime data table and it will not shown into the design time data table. Okay. So the final data after completion of the script created or modified in the data table is stored in this data table and shown from the results window. Okay. You cannot show it from the QTP editor or something. From the results window, you will see the runtime data table. We will see this in detail. Okay. So this is the two types of data table in QTP design time and the runtime. The next is data table itself is divided into two sheets. If you see here, See, two sheets are visible here. The first one is the global and another is are the actions data table. Okay, so there are two types of sheets in the data table itself. The first one is the global data sheets and the second one is the action data sheets or also referred as a local data sheets. Okay, so uh, in a QTP, there is one test. Okay, there is one test and within this test, there are number of actions. We'll see this in details when we'll discuss about the action. So here, there are multiple action within a single test. Okay, so if you want to use a data with all the actions, okay, then at that time, global data sheets can be used. Okay. But if you want a data within the action only, it means you will not, you don't want to share the data from one action to the another action at that time, the local or the action data sheets are used. So there are different, different uh, local sheets or action sheets with the n number of actions that are associated with the test. Okay. So global data sheets means when you want the data, to be available to all actions in your test and you want the data to control the number of test iterations okay whereas in the action data sheets the data is limited to the actions only and there are two types of data sheets in the QTP okay so if you have n number of actions in the data table in the test sorry so there are a number of data sheets will available into your data table. Okay, so what we have seen, we have seen that there are two types of data table is in the QTP, the design time and the runtime. And there are two types of sheets in the data table. The first one is the global data sheets and the second one is action or local data sheet. Okay, so next is 
what is a use of data table okay the so first use of the data table is you can parameterize your test as we have seen in the previous video how we can parameterize a test in the data table okay the next is you can use the data driven approach from the data table means you can use the number of data or the different sets of the data in the data table and used into your script you can use the different data that runs several times using the data you supply in each repetition or iteration qtp uses a different value from the data table so you can parameterize your data, uh, script using the data table as well as you can use the data driven approach using a data table okay so the next question is where it is located when saved means where the data table is located when you save the test so when working with the test the data table is saved with your test by default okay you can save the data table in another location as well so uh, let me show you the folder structure okay this these are the different tests that we have created in the earlier videos okay so let's open the test recording script so in the folder structure the one xls file is there with the name default okay so this is your data table that is stored within your test okay it is in the form of xls file okay so this is the default location but you can change the location of the data table where do you want to store the data table from where it is done go to the tool go to the file then settings okay then go to the resources within resources here is the option data table default location it means that we have seen just right now and if you want to save it in another location click on this option okay now here what the prompt is showing that the sheet names in the specified data table should match the action name in your test i'll come to this point later on okay so here you can select the location and you can save the data table into the another location okay so the default location is within your test and if you want to change the location you can do it from the settings menu okay so now let's see some file related operations on the data table okay so let's go to the tool so this is our data table now there are some features that are available with the data table like we can import the data from external file also from the xls file so there are the different options here just go to this data table and right click on it here see the different options like file you can import from file you can export the data as well from the data table to some external file okay now here within the sheet you can import the sheet as well the sheet means independent sheet okay from the file as well and from the database as well similarly you can export the data you can edit the data the all the edit related operations are here from the data you can do the recalculation and sort as well and you can format the data okay so now one point to be remember when you are importing the file that the column name should be same in the external file as the column name is defined over here okay so let's see that i have created one excel file like this where the sheet name is default given by the excel file sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 and here the are the five cells that i have filled what qtp will do when i import this file the first row and the first column value will be treated as the column name okay so let's import this file okay i have c5 column over here i'm just closing it okay now right click on it and file and just import for file now it will prompt you that the column headings in the imported table should match the parameter names in the test if you have defined some parameters here so that name should be the same in the file okay just press okay and provide the path this is the file okay just open it now see the column a okay let me open that file the first cell value is given as the column name okay here 
and the rest of the values qtp hp qc selenium will be our data that get filled automatically now here if you have seen like only the first sheet gets inserted now if you want to insert the data in all your sheet here okay now the point that needs to be remember is your sheet name should be same if you are filling the multiple sheet like the first sheet name should be the global and the second sheet name should be the action one okay now insert some data in this sheet also as well give it a name as action column okay let's insert some data here test demo okay now see we have two sheets with the same name as our data table if we import this file it will import the data in both the sheet okay so let's import the new file here file and then import from file press ok and then select the file okay see this columns are same okay now go to the action one tab here now see here action column the first cell value and the test and the demo value gets inserted over here okay so this is how you can import the file as well as the export your file if you want to export the data just click on it export okay now i'll name it as exported data okay now if you see the file exported data here see here the name and the values here similarly in the another okay only two sheets are here because in the data table only two sheets are there so this is how you can do the file related operations from here you can import and export the data from the excel file okay so these are the basics about the data table that we have seen like how many types of the data table are there how many types of sheets are there and how can we import and export data in the qtp from excel file okay Uh, so this is all about the data table basics for this video in the next video we'll see about the operations that we can perform on the table the different methods that are available in the qtp for the data tables thank you